My son was born at 26 weeks, and so we were in the NICU for three months. And um, I was just sitting in his room um, reading the, a devotional I had in Psalm 139, 14. I am fearfully and wonderfully made, marvelous all your works. My soul knows it very well. And I was just like, God doesn't make mistakes. And so God allowed this to happen for a reason. And he has been just such a blessing. He's 13 years old now, going to be in the eighth grade, and he's so smart. And just God is good. I'm just grateful for it. So ironically, Psalm 23, which is what we're talking about this weekend. It's been one of those psalms that you hear over and over in church, and it just becomes one of those psalms that, that you kind of put at the back of your mind, and you're like, oh yeah, the Lord is my shepherd. I'm supposed to trust Him. I'm supposed to rest in His peace and um, just trust that He knows where I'm going, even though I don't. And then there was a season in my life not too long ago where I had to really put that into practice. <laughs> Psalm 150, which is praise the Lord. And there's uh, different scenarios of praise. Praise Him is said 13 times in six verses. And it's in all things. It's not just when it's all good, but it's also in the valleys and it's also in the challenges. Um, so this Psalm specifically has re-entered um, my mind um, beyond my childhood knowledge. Um, a few years back, uh, my husband was deployed. We're a military family. And I've done many deployments de before, but this one was different. Um, I had three kids at home. One was seven, four, one. And I was actually going through a lawsuit um, and it got really nasty and it was just not a good time. So I was on the phone with one of my good friends and she pointed out to me that this Psalm talks about God walking through the valley with you. He doesn't say that um, the shepherd will lead you around the valley or that he'll drop you off in front of the valley and meet you on the other side. It says that he's going to walk through the valley with you. And that just really changed my mindset of the whole situation that I was in. I was alone. I felt alone, wasn't alone. Just knowing that he was with me even when I didn't see it or feel it. It just changed everything at that time. And so shortly after I had that conversation with my friend, um, God worked it out in a way that I would have never been able to, you know, do on my own. And he got us to Florida. He restored everything. He restored our family. He restored my heart. He restored my joy. He brought us back to a church that I love and that I can volunteer in. and. Um, shortly after that, my parents retired and they moved here as well. So, like, all of that wouldn't have happened if I didn't walk through what I had to walk through. And I'm just so grateful for it now. My dad passed away in a very traumatic way, unexpectedly, when I was 21 years old. It still hurts today. Um, he was there and continues to be there. Um, and he's given me peace in that. Fast forward a few years and I had, um, an accident. It was um, someone hit me head on and I walked away. And by looking at the car, you never would have thought somebody would have walked away. You know, those times he was there for us. Uh, when I've had job challenges, when I got a cancer diagnosis, um, God was there and he, he provided what I needed to walk through it and what each of my family members needed to walk through it. You know, I reflect on one of my life verses um, 24 years ago when I recommitted my life to the Lord is, has been Colossians 1.17. He is before all things. He is the creator and he sustains us and he sustains my life. No matter what else is in chaos, he is constant. He sustains me. He's the one that I can have joy in. He's the one that I can trust in. All those situations, though, in the midst of it, felt so like we're never going to get through this. They didn't last. And today, things are good with my kids and cancer-free. And my husband is working and my job is stable. So today it's good. And it's really easy to be thankful for and grateful for our Father when life is good. Sometimes not so easy when you're in the middle of the trial. So I have to remember these good times and the goodness of God. Um, I learned that God is always there and He does bring restoration. He does bring peace. He does bring joy. Um, 
even if you have to walk through a valley, he is there with you in the valley. Um, and for me, I didn't, I didn't realize that until I was mostly through the valley. Um, but he was there. And that um, now knowing that, I, I pray that the next valley I face, that I realize that sooner. Um, yeah. <laughs>